Well, this is not my traditional crafting video, but it is a video about crafting. These are dolls that my mother and my grandmother made. So maybe they're considered vintage now. I'm not sure. These were all made in the early 1970s, um, between 1970 and 1975. Um, I know they were all made before I was born. Um, these two back here are the king and queen. These were made as wedding gift from my grandmother to my mom when she got married. Sometimes eventually these are used for like girls day celebration in Japan but these dolls were never used for that purpose. Um, my grandmother is a very big crafter and um, so she does a lot of the traditional Japanese crafts still. Um, her vision's not as good now so I'm not sure exactly which what type of crafting she does now, but she used to make a lot of these dolls. The rest of the dolls in this collection were made by my mom, and these were all before I was born. So um, what they did was they would get this kit, and it would have the, he the head and a cork body, and then the fabrics, and they would have to layer the fabrics onto these dolls. Let me see if I can zoom in here. So they would layer these silk kimono fabrics onto these dolls by hand. Now this is kind of a dying art in Japan. Uh, many people will buy these dolls now and these dolls can be hundreds of dollars. But like I said my grandmother was always a very hands-on crafter and made sure her daughters knew how to make these themselves. So this is traditional Japanese cherry blossom in her hand. And again there's the fabrics for that kimono. This is a little boy. Um, he used to have a fishing pole, but my mom tells me that I broke that when I was little, so she just gave him a skewer. So that was one she had made, I believe, around 1973-1972. And then in the far back, these are ones that she gave my daughters. So there's one there. And again, you can see the detail of the fabrics. And then the last one over here, I heard I broke this lady's umbrella when I was a kid. So she has one of those paper umbrellas from like a Chinese restaurant. That thing itself is probably an antique, probably from the 1980s, around the time I actually broke it. You can even see her little foot with a little sandal down there. So I just wanted to show those. It's not something I know how to make. I know they still sell these kits to make. It seems like it's a dying art, but some in Hawaii still make these. I saw a couple of YouTube videos on them. So I just wanted to post a video to show some vintage art that I just inherited. Thanks for watching.